Hi there. Today on It Is A Keeper, I'm showing you how to make 30 minute sloppy joes. These sloppy joes are one of my family's favorite recipes. They're quick and easy to make. They're ready in 30 minutes and always a crowd pleaser. This is my grandmother's recipe. I can remember her making them when I was growing up. My mom would also make them all the time. They always made an appearance at birthday parties or anytime she needed to feed a crowd. What's great about this recipe is you can easily double or triple it to suit your needs. So let me show you how to make them. Okay, so the first step in making the sloppy joes, we're gonna add a little bit of oil to our pan. Then we're going to add some ground beef. I like to use 80-20 that you can use whatever you like. So before we go any further, I'm just going to season the ground beef with some house seasoning blend. You can get that recipe on my website. I'm also going to add some onion and some green bell peppers. Just let everything cook together. Okay, so our ground beef is almost fully browned. I'm just going to use this fun gadget in here. And it's a great way to break up large chunks of meat when you're trying to cook ground beef. I just love it. It breaks everything up into nice small crumbles that are easy to work with. And it's perfect for making these sloppy joes. You can find the link for this product below. Okay, so to our cooked ground beef, we're going to add some ketchup, some vinegar, a little bit of sugar, some dried mustard powder, and some celery seed. And you wouldn't believe how much flavor this little bit of celery seed adds to this recipe. So I definitely wouldn't skimp on that. If you don't have it in your pantry, I would definitely run and pick some up for this recipe. It really sets it apart. So we're just going to stir everything in and then we're just going to let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so we're ready to serve up our sloppy joes. Just pile it high with the mixture. It will fall over the edge and that's perfectly okay. They are sloppy after all. Gosh, these smell so good. It takes me back to being like 10 years old again when my mom would make them for us all the time. And that is why they call them Sloppy Joes. Thanks for watching. You can get the full instructions in the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.